Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well. Sending plenty of love your way as usual. Now, as you can see, I'm in the new studio. Uh, I was trying to play the music, the King of the Jungle, in the background, right? And it was working for a bit, but then I realised I couldn't get the music down the volume. I think there's a way of doing it, but I'll sort that out soon, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Second stage of the journey. We start off tomorrow morning with Russell McVicar, first up, right? Now, if any comments you want to ask Russ, you'd like me to ask Russell, that's a good one, isn't it? So let me know today or whatever, and I'll process them and see how that can go as well. Because you see one of his interviews um, on the James English. Um, so yeah, yeah, Russell, that'd be a reunion. So we'll get ready for that. We've got another one this week as well. Um, what else, what else? Right, yeah, I was going to go into this video a little bit. Something a little bit disturbed me, you know, um, with Uncle Ray Hill, you know what I mean? Um, he'd done a video about the abuse he suffered, right? Now, and it was prolonged for a very, very long period of time. Now, those men, Robert Maudsley, David Cheeseman, Michael Smithman, what do they all have in common as well? They were all abused, right, as kids. And this is, that kind of trauma can um, lead to that kind of stuff on the level that they ended up on, right? Let's get that right. Not all of us that went through such a traumatic experience, Uncle Ray still, I mean, still traumatized in later life over uh, something he kept hidden for so long. Probably, I hear it was when I came out on James English and said something a lot, you said that I helped a lot of people with that, especially men who don't like to confess to that kind of stuff now. Thinking about way back in the day when I heard about um, Robert Maudsley and Cheeseman, right? Imagine this, they were banged up together in a cell, padded up cellmates, right? Plotting and planning behind the scenes about who they could lure into the trap of their own vicinity, of their cell, right? They got two geezers in there, right? Um, they tried others, and but other people were smart. But the one or two that they got during that time, the, the bell went and everything, the screws all at the door. They were holding the body up like it was a trophy, raving lunatics. But I'm thinking the victims may have been abusers of some kind, or something, I can't remember directly, maybe it's not fair to say that, you know what I mean? But if I remember rightly, Mum, the ringing true of that, imagine all three of them being co-defendants. Fucking lunatics, mate. But listen, the Broadmoor thing as well, well remembered as well, because I forgot that bit this morning as well, but it's really deep. Can you imagine all three of them? So you see when they, when they walk around the yard together, psychopaths like that, you have to think what kind of conversations are taking place. Do you get me? Come on, think about it logically, right? Um, so, of course, my boy, thank you very much. And yeah, God, God's playing his heart in the second stage of the journey. Obviously, with clean time, he was never going to give me the other bits and throw them into my lap until I was absolutely ready for the next stage. Now, the other thing, we give Uncle Ray, Ray or mention, you know what I mean? Because it it's, hard, it's hard to live with yourself with traumas of that kind. You know what I mean? It's quite tearful listening to Uncle Ray. He's getting, old, he's getting on a bit. You know what I mean? My heart goes out to Uncle Ray sometimes. You know what I mean? He was never, he's never, you think about turning into a fighter from that. A lot, be careful, very careful. Remember Lenny McLean went through little bits and bobs. You don't know what else. And then they turn to the fighting thing as their way of fighting back and exercising some kind of control over what happened to them in their lives. Hold on, you won't be able to do that to me again. But you can become a bit of an abuser in some ways, not just sexual abuse, obviously I'm not saying that. Talk about fighting and beating people up and all that kind of stuff. It's almost internal rage, to be honest. Mine was managed by, you know, <laughs> um, staying a bit childlike all my life, innit? By being institutionalized, but you know, the, the, the self-harming of drugs and that kind of stuff. It's not gonna get me no more because I realized that you don't, I don't really need you in my life, to be honest. I'm all right as I am. I was never meant to take anything. My mate Lennox looked at me the other day and he said to me, listen, when you was little, Yami, I was one of your first friends. When they, every, all of us started taking drugs, he goes, you were the only one that didn't want to touch nothing. He goes, they used to force it into your mouth and make you do it and all. He goes, you didn't like it. Remembered. I said, yeah, you didn't like it, Yami. It wasn't made for you that way. And all the prison environment of turning me into that raving lunatic and a pro like a reason for living, but really you're self-harming and you're tortured by these court kind of traumas. Ray has to start sitting down with a counsellor. 
honestly he does man and he, for him to come out at this age and think it says a lot about Uncle Ray you know it's not an easy thing to do because people start prejudging you when they know these things about you they start thinking well I wonder if he's a bit funny and all that you've got to deal with a lot of things surrounding it you know the, the, the stupid psychologists and all that well when you get it you can, it can form itself in other ways yeah it probably can but you still know right from wrong and this is what we were talking about anything that, that you didn't like happening to you I always told you lot, didn't I? You can't do it to another person because that means you know what it did to you because you were hurt by it, right? So you're going to do the same thing to somebody else and ruin their lives. Those, those, those are the facts, right? So we're in the studio. It's game on, all right? So get ready. Any questions or comments, whatever. Get the game going. Uh, loads of guests coming up.